I'm going to do a setup of NAN on a server as simple as can be. I really do not like ops. I've done it for years. I avoid it. I get it done once and just walk away. I keep things simple. There's no Kubernetes, no Docker, nothing. This has been working well on a couple of projects. I need to do a third project and I mean, might as well record it. Again, nothing fancy here. We're going to set up N8N. I'm using DigitalOcean for no good reason. I like them though. AWS is just not as friendly, but it can be used as well. I've done that before. Linode, <clears throat> there's so many options out there to avoid ops. So we're just going to get it running on a machine. I think, I forget what this one is, but uh, two CPUs, four gigs of memory, good enough to get going. This customer has a lot of automations. I'm going to actually do a video on moving uh, Laravel app to N8N and show the reduction of code and complexity. In this case, though, it's just going to be me setting up the server. Hopefully, it'll be quick and painless. We're going to set up N8N as I did before with just the supervisor or system D. Simple stuff, you'll see. And Claude will help us. If not, it's already helped me, and that's why I'll just copy paste a lot of stuff. And then it can even make a readme later so I know where uh, how I set up the server. And then we'll do Nginx so that we can get to it like a normal URL without all the port stuff. We'll check the firewall. And lastly, oh, we'll do Let's Encrypt so we know that it's uh, secure. All right. Again, I'll keep plugging away. Subscribe to YouTube. Join the training course. Get access to me and, and a lot of rethinking of how you code. And we're going to really take advantage of N8N's awesome docs and just what they offer here. So according to their license, we should be okay. I think I have this here where we do have a license. This is a small company I'm doing this for. And uh, it's not enterprise and it's not redistributing. They're just going to run it on their server. Good thing to keep an eye out for. Now, you could just run it easily with uh, .io. I have a great way to get going if you just want to play around. But per customer, want to reduce cost, want to just not be worried about uh, scaling or uh, cost there. And you could use render.com. It got a little bit pricey, but it was great to get going as well to get my feet wet and realize, yeah, I want to use N8N. All right, so let's go find their docs. And it's we're going to really start off at that level. So let me go uh, just do this. I'm gonna, let's see how the server goes. I didn't prep. They want you to experience any pain and suffering that I have. So let's see. NPX N8N. All right. It's a regular DigitalOcean server. I have sudo access, which we'll switch when we need to. And I will do one thing at a time. I will fast forward through this if needed. All right, this is great. I don't really, I don't really I hate ops. So this is why I want to go through it with you and not prep. So I'm going to go to Claw and say, all right, this is my chat thread. By the time I'm done with this, like I said at the end, I'll ask it for a readme. And then it will give me a nice way to remember what I did. And I can add that to the particular docs. You keep some docs in Notion. So let's see. First, you have an NVM install. First, if you don't have, close and reopen the terminal. And do I have NVM? Looks like I do. Oh, it's not found. Okay, let's do it. I don't even know where that will install it. I might want to run that as sudo. Let's find out. Oh, it's home. I'm just going to run it. I mean, you know, uh, I know enough to know what's not going to kill my machine. Um, so now we can do an install. Uh, no node. Um, oops, this guy, node version manager, and then NVM use, that's cool, oops, and a node version. Okay, so then I will run it again, which is interesting because, okay, and just so you can see, I'm in the home folder because I just, that's how I like to do things. This way I don't have to worry about like permissions. So it's going to jump way ahead. So we will do it globally. I don't know if I can do it globally without sudo. Let's see what happens. It worked. All right. So I'm going to follow its directions. It's a little different than what I have on my other server. Let's just see what happens. I'm going to do this. This means it will make it in my home folder. And then I am going to use nano like this. Oops. Uh, and then let me go get that password and then it wants to do this. Who knows if this is the right path? We'll, we'll find out in a moment. Um, and I might have some optimizations for after based on my other server, but we'll come back to that. Um, let's see. I was just curious about this. It's a, it's a, it's an interesting guess. 
So it's nano, so we have some sanity here. But yeah, that's not there. So we did this global install and I don't know where it installed it. Oh yeah, ah, oh, there you go. Actually, that's what my other one said too. So let's fix that. I'll say, by the way, the, let's let it fix it. We'll let it do the work. And so now it's gonna do that again. It's just gonna fix that path. So let's just fix that. Oops. So you can use the up arrow to go back. And then uh, I think, and then I can cut with a K and then exit. There we go. All right, so now I won't run all three of these at once just so we can see it. So we're gonna tell the daemon to go check out the new config. We're going to tell the daemon to run it and then we're going to tell the daemon to start it and if all goes well this guy will show it went well if not great we'll learn some things it failed all right good so why did it fail oops let me just paste that in there it's just like a journal command it will tell me to run there it is let me move myself over. Oh, interesting. I wonder why he uses the wrong one. Ah. Oh yeah, that's even what my other server had too. I will save this readme and share it after in a link in the video. I don't know how to wipe all that out, so I'll do it that way. And then I will. We have to then tell the daemon to do it again. Tell the daemon to start. And then let's go see. Nope, oh, let's just go grab it. Uh, restart, NADN. Okay, restart. And then what is the status? Okay. <clears throat> so now if we go to the IP, which I'm going to block after. I'm going to block the firewall for that particular port. So I'll show it now, knowing we're going to block it after. And let me go get the IP, which you can actually just get off the server, but I'm going to cheat. And then let's go do our area here. Oh, what was that port? Five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> it's not open. So what I'm going to do is let's go ask, maybe I won't open the port. I'm glad it's closed. So now we know it's closed, but we know it's running. So let's not open it. So now we're going to tell Nginx to do its thing. Nginx is running on this server already. It's pretty easy to set up Nginx. So let's just focus on that for a moment. And then we'll go a little bit into environment variables. So let's see, I'm going to tell it, let's see. Great. Uh, oops, we don't want here. We want here so I'm going to say okay sites available okay so I think it should know this already but let's just make sure again it would have figured this out without me doing all this so don't be worried just try it the domain I already pointed a domain to the IP address that's pretty easy and And we'll do let's encrypt after. So back to nano, back to sudo. There we go. And let's go grab what it wants. And okay. I have some nice other settings here. Uh, sometimes things take a while. I'm going to tell it because I want this thing to run, uh, make that read me after. Okay. So let's do our thing. So let's see, where is, it wants me to run that command. So let's add those lines and again. It will, I don't even know. I didn't know. I'll have to look up WebSockets. I didn't know what that was for this. That'd be interesting. So let's see. 
Then we run this to just get the file into place. And then we run this as a sanity check to make sure Nginx is happy with the settings. And then we just reload this thing. And we should see it now uh, without opening up a firewall. Uh, so let's go grab that. I think I did the DNS right. And it would help you do that. It's not hard. All right. Come back to this. I might even just give it that screenshot. So let's first set up Let's Encrypt. So let's do that. So I'm going to save this for a moment. So we got to it. Let's just see what it says. I'm curious. And then we'll do Let's Encrypt. All right, great. I don't want to lower the service. So let's do Let's Encrypt. Oh, it wants me to do it for just a moment. Okay, cool, cool. So we're going to go edit this again. And we're going to make sure we change this after. Okay, and then we do that. And again, control R to do a status. I'm looking good. Okay. And then uh, this guy's already installed, so we're all set to go on that. But it really is that easy. Oh, maybe it's not. Actually, I thought it was. Let's install it. Okay. And I always check because uh, it could remove everything. You just never know with apt. So just read. And then if it's going to remove things, don't let it. Just copy paste that into uh, Claude and let it help you not remove things you might need. All right. So now we've done that. And now let's do this. Info at dailyai.studio. Agree. When do you mean? Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm surprised though. I wonder if it did my updates for me. I don't think it did. All right. So we did this and then we do. Remove it. Okay. Oh yeah. We had to add that cause it goes to the site to see if it's working. And I think if it got an error, I would have not done the cert. Um, okay. So let's see, remove that and then run this guy again. So I'll run both. And then again, we could do control R. All right. So now, oops. If you get that message, it could just be rebooting. I'll just give it a moment or restarting. Uh, and let me do this the right way. Up. If you're not using a, like a one password or something, it's worth doing. Okay, password. And do that. It's actually really key. All right. I'm going to copy it from here and paste it here. And yes. Okay. So we are up and running, but I'm going to show you some gotchas and then we'll go fix that. See software as a service, e-commerce. My team. Oops. My team. YouTube. Alright. Get paid. Hopefully this email works because it does sometimes bounce. I gotta fix that. I really do hate ops. We're gonna go get our license and unlock this thing even give you a link in there to click and then we'll do our first one and I'll show you the first issue we're gonna have that we'll fix enter activation key all right cool now we're ready to go I'll start and we're gonna add our first manual no oh, I want a webhook because that's where we'll see the problem oops not that I don't even know what that is that's interesting what is that huh see how it says that okay what I want to do now is fix that and uh, let's go do that. Uh, let's go back to Claude. I don't actually know. Uh, let's see if I need to do that. <clears throat> I don't want to do it that way. Let's see if it does it. All right. That might be enough. Let's go look. 
You can do a lot more. Let's see if this is enough though. So it says, go edit this guy. And I like when it does it for me, the whole file, which is why I probably might start using cursor for this. So it says, put it on the services. Let's just have it do it. So I don't have to do all the work. Part of this stuff is letting it do the work, reducing the friction of your day, the amount of work you do. It's just nice. Um, okay. So we got to tell it to reload the file to make sure it knows it's the latest one. And we'll run that and then we'll do that status. And it's running. Okay. So now if we go back to N8N, let's save for a moment. Oops. So again, you'll get this as it's restarting. So just remember that. There we go. All right, there we go. I don't want this port though. So let's fix that. I'm glad we're seeing this. Uh, I want to give it this example just so you guys can see and we can kick it off a little bit. Let me just move this over. Maybe what I'll do, let me just ask it. Let me just ask it. I'm going to give it this though. I want to, cause I already went through this with N8N. So let's just give it this file. Okay. I'm going to say, Hey, you're still having trouble. I don't want to see the port there. That won't work. And to be fair, I don't know if this config is that great. All right. So let's go open up our editor again. Hopefully you're fast forwarding this because ops is boring. Yep. Looks like the full file. That's what we want. Oops. I can just copy and then we just, there's a way to clear that out. And then we go X and then we do its thing. And this warp editor tries to be smart. So let's see if it's smart. It's not smart all the time. And it says it's running. Remember, it takes a moment to restart. So what I'll do is I'll click save and it worked. So we know it's restarted. So I'm just going to reload the browser for the heck of it. And now we see this. That's great. So now let's just prove we can hit it. I can actually just do curl. Let's just get back into that guy and do another thing and then do curl. And then we'll just do this. All right. It made it in. Workflow was started. Don't know why we didn't get a response here. Maybe because I didn't really send much. So let's see. Actually, you still should have got a response. So let me see. Oh, I guess I could have just opened that in the browser. <laughs> okay. So we'll just sometimes, and I don't know if this is a server setting. But sometimes that will get stuck and I just reload the tab. So we're going to do this and we'll reload the terminal and it says it did it. And so now like any test one, it goes away after the first hit, but it still doesn't show here. All right. So the UI not refreshing was a simple configuration error uh, in those environment variables. I will share those in the notes below. There we go. This stuff is great. So now I'll just copy this into our team docs, wherever they are and uh, keep moving them. They're in Notion. I should put them back to Google Drive because I can do a lot more with that. And that's it. Now we even have our docs. All right, that's Ops. Uh, the video I sped up because it's so boring. Hopefully it helps you to get over the uh, fear of setting this up for yourself. Now I can go do this big uh, movement from Laravel to, um, and I'll do a video on right after this. Uh, so you guys can see that as well. Again, subscribe, join the newsletter. Um, there's so many great YouTubers out there. One thing I keep thinking about is I'm doing this for real day after day. I'm not just uh, coming up with ideas and suggesting things. I'm really hitting brick walls with NADN and I'm getting around them or learning it for real customers, for real products, for real day to day stuff. So I think there's a lot of uniqueness here for you to join and subscribe and, and get a sense of. And again, take it to the next level, in my opinion. Sign up for this course, get the early bird special and start learning how to rethink, stop coding by default and start N8N and then start cursor and then start lovable. I can really help you get beyond how we used to build things as developers into how you can really approach these problems. And there are a lot of good YouTubers out there and I follow a lot of them. But again, I think I can really help you by showing this level of practical day-to-day -day real stuff.